That's just how I'm living. Destiny right now I'm wearing my hair in a bun I need to be washing I've been washed in like two and a half weeks and I've been wearing this bun for about a week Please. so I'm gonna wash with menstrual shampoo and conditioner this is therapy anti-aging shampoo then the macadamia oil conditioner so I'm gonna use these two together and then I'm gonna go in with my hair mayonnaise and let that sit for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna get started because my hair has been straightened in like 13 weeks let's do this Just gonna try something different. I'm not gonna use too much of it, like I said, because it is new to me. It does say that it's like a protectant and everything like that. As far as products, you don't want to weigh your hair down. You don't have to use what I use, but that's just a suggested tip. You don't want to weigh your hair down, but at the same time, you don't want your hair, you know, where you're not putting anything on it. Now, this is the serum. I just eyeball it when I'm doing this. I think I might have too much for my hair being shorter now. Nah, we'll see. And I just work this in there. All over. Don't just go on the front. Sometimes people like put products in, they only go around. So my hair is shorter than what it used to be, but it's fine because I still get it on a pop. I just used my Red by Kiss Detangler Blow Dryer to take my time and blow dry my hair on the um, high setting. And I dry my hair in like in sections, but I don't clip it in sections. I just blow dry a section until it's fully dry. And I take my time like I'm going slower than what it actually looks, believe it or not. And just do that all over until it's dry and I work it like I move my hair all around when I'm blow drying. I finished blow drying my hair and I don't know like it feel maybe I use too much of it. I'm not sure. We'll find out. It don't feel the way it normally feel when I use the one with the pink top. Hair. Ain't moving that much. Maybe when that heat get on it it'll like you know activate the product or whatever. This is going to be my first time also using my new I don't know how you say this B-E-L-L-E-Z-Z-A Belza. Bells, uh, I don't know. If you know the name of this flat iron, let me know. This is my new one. It's a dual, it's a duet set. It comes with a small and a large. It's a hundred percent solid ceramic place, but it's not about the flattering. It's about me flattering in my hair. I'm just letting you know which one I'm using. You can use whichever flattering you have. Of course, you get what you pay for and all that good stuff. But I, I never had problems with different flatterings that I use. Normally, I would put more of the serum on my hair after it dries, but because I went in kind of heavy with it. I'm not going to do that. Um, if you don't have time to flat iron your hair, then don't flat iron it. Well, somebody had asked me to see more of me flat ironing my hair without me cutting it so much. But because I'm recording on my phone, depending on how much stuff I deleted, it determines how much space I have. Small sections. I curve mine as I go. I don't like my hair like super, super bone straight. I like a little bend to it, which of course some of the bend will come out when you wrap your hair because that's what I'm going to do. I have so far. Look at that. So I guess I didn't use too much because now that I'm actually flattering it, it's like, oh girl. If you don't have the blow dry with like the double layer combing, do the chasing method because it keeps the hair straight as you flatter it as well. And take your time. Like the quicker you pull that flutter through your hair, there's more passes you have to do. So go slow. Baby, take your time. We can do it, baby. Put the comb in there. Okay, see, because I'm turning around to show y'all. Struggle is real. Start turning it. Or if you want to. You don't have to, okay? That's just what I do. Look at the flick of that wrist. And if you have, like, a haircut, that's how you get, like, feathers and stuff, too. You just let it sit. If you want to feather your hair, and then when you're done and it's cool, you can take this part of your comb and, like, I can't see because I'm turning to the back, but you take that part of your comb and feather it through. Let your hair cool though if you want to keep curls in it. When I get to the front, it's still the same technique. See that? Take small sections, comb it through, put the comb in there, keep it in there if you like. It just helps with separating each individual strand so that they all go straight with the flat iron. Not flattening the hair, but straightening the hair with the flat iron. I like it, girl. And that's how I be feathering my hair. And I also show you all how I keep it like that without doing it every day. It's a flick in the wrist. You don't want to have to straighten and then go back and curl when you can really do all of it at the same time. I wonder what the middle part would look like. And the smoke is from the product. Her hair hasn't been straightened in weeks, so I know it ain't burning. I know it ain't burning. You know your hair more than I would know your hair, so you know if you can go over it again and if you can't. My hair hasn't been flat in a while. I just can go over it again because I just can. My hair looks like it's in a bob kind of style, huh? Let me find out. My hair want me to get a bob. Okay. Everybody's different. Everybody straightens their hair different. I feel like if I'm going to go ahead and straighten it, I want to go ahead and straighten it. Yeah, it's a lot of bounce too. A lot of bounce, girl. 
far as everything else, I'm just letting it all dangle and I work with it at the end. Okay. I've never straightened my hair to just be straight because I don't like that look on me. If you want it to just be straight, then you would just pull your foot iron straight down without curling your wrist. Don't worry about the edges. We're going to get those. Trust me. That's like the key to your hairstyle. Like the belt to your outfit. The <laughs> concealer to your eyebrows. <laughs> it just ain't complete if it ain't on flea. I ain't done like an actual hair. I ain't gonna call it a tutorial because tutorial means how to do this. This is just how I do it, okay? Not a professional or anything like that. I'm trying to think of questions y'all might ask so I can tell y'all while y'all watching. If your hair is thicker, take even smaller sections to get it even straighter. If that's what you want to do. If you don't, then don't do that, okay? What I love about it, Alexa, you just reach out in there and just... Oh God. <laughs> edges right here have a fresh relaxer they just really just gonna lay you know just lay like yes yeah, like ooh. like if your hair is clean your brush needs to be clean just the edges grab your hair with your fingers just pull whatever you can grip and slide back like that and the reason I'm going back is because it's making it lay and just brush it like that and as far as moving your part it's not defined but you know just move it like however you like and you can do all that good stuff coming through your curls will stay as long as you, I forgot to use a little lot of body. If I were to use just like a few drops of lot of body on my, it'll help these curls to hold even more. But it's okay. It is all good. I'm just showing you all like how you can style this. This is the feathers or whatever. Um, My hair is not cut to feathers. It's just short so it do that. But you get the idea. That's how I straighten it. And I'm going to show you all how you put rollers in this to keep it as well. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> I had my arms straight so long. Like, good God. Like, you don't want to go to this side. Stay over here. Well, stay over there then. I mean, if you want to use your fingers, you can. Really, you're not getting this in the hair. You're getting it on the edges, okay? So you just take it in. Girl, yes. It's, it's not cream of nature. It's a little bit left in here, but this is really just some. You know, jam in the black jar with the orange, the orange top. That's what this is. And it's like my to-go. Throw this in my purse, you know. Any edge control, whichever you like. This is jam that I'm using. And I find the edge controls, to be honest, they really just, like, straighten the edges when it's already straight, if that makes sense. But as far as when I'm wearing my bun, I just use my softy gel. But it depends on what, I, what I'm trying to do with my hair to let it determine what product I use so when I know I need a relaxer I use uh, gel if you want to tie that down like a hair scarf like this put it on the front on the edge just kind of lean back to make your hair go back like that and then you put it in a knot and just push it back some more on your edges to make those lay if they kind of wave up a little bit or if they're not laying you know how you want them to lay oh my goodness let me stop it y'all be thinking I'm ghetto I'm not ghetto to feather your hair you coming back like this shake it forward like that and you be bummed like this like that like that yes god yes god <laughs> my volume that i normally have is just and i ain't here to die anywho y'all get the point that's that i like to shake it forward and bring it back bring it back.